Wow, this interesting question given to us is the quadrant. The length of this red and purple line segment is 2 and root 3 minus 1 centimeter. Exciting part is with this limited data, we have to find area of this blue shaded region. Okay, let's check this interesting solution. Let's start by assuming the radius of quadrant as r centimeter. Thus, OC length that will also be r centimeter. And uh, if you'll see this green line, now this green line is making a contribution that this triangle OAB is an isosceles triangle and thus this angle A is 45 degree. As we know this angle A, so this triangle DEA in this, this angle D is also 45. It's an isosceles triangle. So EA length will be same root 3 minus 1. And thus OE length that will be full radius R minus root 3 minus 1. So OE length will be R minus root 3 plus 1. Now in this triangle OE sorry CEO applying Pythagoras theorem we will get R square that hypotenuse square is R minus root 3 plus 1 square into height square height is your root 3 minus 1 plus 2 that is root 3 plus 1. Simplifying it opening up this bracket using formula for a minus b plus c whole square. So that will be a square plus b square plus c square minus 2ab minus 2bc plus 2ac. The second term opening up with a plus b whole square formula will get this. Now simplifying it so we can clearly see r square is getting cancelled here. This is minus 2 root 3 this is plus 2 root 3. Taking terms with r in LHS so we will get r times of 2 root 3 plus 2 sorry 2 root 3 minus 2 this is equals to 4 plus 4 that is 8. So here 2 will come common so 2 r times root 3 minus 1 is 8 or r this 2 will get cancelled so this will be 4 or r is 4 upon root 3 minus 1 simplifying it by rationalizing the denominator so for that we'll multiply numerator and denominator with root 3 plus 1 on simplifying it we'll get radius r as 2 times of root 3 plus 1 centimeter now that we have got value of r to find this shaded region we'll basically need this angle here that's angle theta let's call it why we need it because this shaded region will be nothing but area of this sector minus green triangle minus pink triangle so let's find this angle theta here we know sine theta is perpendicular upon base so sine theta is ce upon co ce length that is 2 plus root 3 minus 1 or root 3 plus 1 and r is 2 times of root 3 plus 1 wow so this root 3 plus 1 will get cancelled we'll get sine theta is half and we know that sine 30 degree is half and thus theta is 30 degree now to find the shaded region first let's keep this retain this r and theta here and get rid of other things now that we have got value of theta and r let's find the shaded region which is nothing but area of sector minus area of green triangle minus area of pink triangle so this area of sector we know is theta by 360 into pi r square so that will be 30 by 360 into pi into r square r is 2 root 3 plus 2 area of green triangle that is half of base into height so base will be 2 root 3 plus 2 minus root 3 plus 1 so that will be root 3 plus 3 height that is root 3 plus 1 minus area of pink triangle that's half of root 3 minus 1 times root 3 minus 1 simplifying it we'll get area as so this particular things when you sim simplify this is uh, 1 upon 12 and further when you simplify so here this 2 and this 2 so 4 will come out and we'll get area of sector reduced down to 2 by 3 times of pi times 2 plus root 3. 
and area of this green triangle that's reduced to 3 plus 2 root 3 and simplifying this area of pink triangle is 2 minus root 3. Simplifying it further so we'll get area of this blue shaded region as 2 by 3 pi times of 2 plus root 3 minus 5 minus root 3 and solving it to get in decimal form we'll get area of this shaded region as approximately 1.09 centimeter square and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.